Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate another image resizing operation available through our image processing connector in Power Automate. Rather than allowing us to resize images with completely customized height and width values, this connector allows us to determine maximum height and width values in our request, and then it returns an image size with aspect ratio preserved from the original. Let's see how it works. As always, I'm first creating an instant cloud flow with a manual trigger so I can have full control over my data. Once that's configured, I'm heading to the flow diagram page. From here, I'm creating an initial step to get my demo file, and I'm using the SharePoint get file action to do that. After I configure this and my file ID pops up at the bottom, I'm ready to start resizing. To introduce our connector action, let's type cloudmersive into the search bar and select the image processing connector with the yellow logo from the list of options below. After that, we'll jump straight to the actions list, but only if we've already provided an API key for this connector. If you don't have an API key, you can get one by quickly registering a free account on our website. Once you do that, your free API key will become available and you can easily copy and paste that into the connector authentication field. Once we're on the actions list, let's type aspect ratio and click on the resizing action which pops up below. Within this action, we have four mandatory request parameters starting with our maximum height and width specifications and ending with our file configuration steps. To fill this out, we're going to need to know the dimensions of our image. Because I've prepared a demonstration, I know my demo image is 3,491 pixels high and 2,417 pixels wide, so I'm going to set my maximum height and width to 3,000 to see what happens. However, in a real-world use case, you might not always know the dimensions of your images for this operation, so you can always include a metadata retrieval step before this operation and use expressions to programmatically modify your ratio. I'll leave that part up to you. After including my image dimensions, I'm parsing my file content via the dynamic content window and then giving my file a random name with a JPG extension. With the resizing operation configured, I'm quickly setting up a create file step to generate a new image and compare that with my original. After my create file step is configured, I'm saving and running my flow. When my flow finishes running after a few seconds, I'm heading to my file storage to make sure the operation was successful. When I open my JPG file and click on the info button, I can see that the new ratio for my image is 3000 by 2077. Those of you who are good at doing math in your heads will know that this is the same ratio as the original ratio that I started out with, and the image is just slightly smaller looking when I put them both on my screen side by side. This difference is barely noticeable, but of course the more you change your maximum height and width values, the more the resulting images will start to look much different in size. Overall, this is a great tool for automating reductions in image file sizes when we don't have specific dimensions or platform use cases in mind. Of course, you can also scale images up if you want, but that quickly becomes problematic with losses in quality. With our test complete, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions about this or any of our API products, please don't hesitate to reach out to our sales team. I'll include a link for you in the description.